Hey guys, this is going to be another beginner's Android Studio tutorial. This is going to be the second tutorial of my beginner series and I'm going to go over text views. A text view allows you to display certain, well any information onto the phone's screen and I'm going to go over them in this video. So first of all, let's uh, open up Android Studio and create a new project. I'm going to call my project text views and just click next. Uh, that's all fine. We'll open up an empty activity and finish. Okay, once Android Studio is done building your app, let's uh, let's just run it and take a look at what the app looks like before we make any changes to it. So if you need to know how to get the emulator running, which is what I'm going to do right now, just um, watch my previous video on installing Android Studio and I go over how to get started with the emulator. Okay, so here's our app text views. This is one type of text view up here. Um, so you can see that it says hello world and uh, if we go back to Android Studio and open up the res folder make sure that we're in the Android tab there's a couple different tabs up here make sure that you have the Android tab open go into the res folder go into the layout and this is where all of your layout files are going to be they're responsible for what the screen actually looks like in your app the back the back end of the app so where the actual coding is that enables the functionality of the app is going to be all in the Java files here so if you want to create a new Java file you would right click here go new Java class, but uh, the layouts are all here. If you want to create a new layout file, you right click here, go to new and layout, layout resource file. So we're going to open up activity main by double clicking on it. And this, don't worry about this uh, rendering pop up here. So when you first open up your layout file, you come to this screen, which is called the design tab. In the design tab, I can grab things like a text view and I can just drag them into, into the layout anywhere. But if you prefer to actually code in the layout itself, you can go over to the text tab. I'm not sure why it's giving me this error here. I'm actually going to try rebuilding the app. So go to build and rebuild project. This kind of just refreshes all the settings in your app. Oh, okay, I just hit the refresh button and it looks like that error went away. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, if, um, if you prefer to code your layout, you can just write it in here. But uh, for if you're a beginner, it's probably better to, to go to the design tab over here because you can just drag things in. So let's get rid of this hello world text view here. We can just delete that and we'll go back to the design layout and we can drag in some other text view. And um, because we have a relative layout, which you'll notice up here, uh, a relative layout is, I find, much easier to drag things in. The alternative is a linear layout. A linear layout gives you exactly what it describes. It's a linear orientation of everything. So it's good for stacking things vertically or stacking things horizontally when you're designing the layout. But a relative layout I find is for most things is much easier because you can build everything relative to one another. So let's just throw in a text view to start and we have some properties that we can set over here. So the most important thing probably is the ID the ID is what you're going to be able to reference it from in uh, in main activity over here. So I'm just gonna label this one uh, text view one. Wrap content and wrap content means the size of the text view itself is only going to occupy as much space is as necessary, dependent on the t the size of the text. If we were to do um, the alternative, which is match parent, it takes up the entire parent. Uh, so in, in the case of the width, the parent width is the whole width of the screen. With the height, the parent height would be the entire height of the screen. So we don't need that. We can just use wrap content. And wrap content is also fine here. So this text spot here is the text that's going to be actually displayed inside of the text view. In, in main activity, we're going to set this text. So I'm going to delete that. And let's go down a little bit. And we'll change, we'll change the text size. When you're putting in text size, you have to always append SP to the end. If you're dealing with layout items, everything is in DP. So I'll show you what, what I mean. If you go over to the text tab, you'll notice that this padding is 16 DP. It's not, they don't use SP when, when they're um, referring to positions of items on the screen itself. They use DP, but with text, they use SP. So you can see that the unit is SP. DP stands for density independent pixels and SP stands for scale independent pixels. So let's go back and we'll set this to, I don't know, let's make it pretty big. We'll make it 20 SP. And here I'll just, just to give you a preview here, I'll write some text in here. And you can see it's much larger than we originally had. If I change this down to 10 SP, the, the text shrinks over here. But let's set it to 20 SP. 
and we'll get rid of this text. And um, that's that's all we're going to do in the layout file. So you take a look at what the code looks like in the layout file. Now you can see that uh, the text view that I dragged in is just sitting right here. We have our wrap content width and height. Uh, this is just a margin from the top, so it's the distance from the top to where the text view is. The ID is here, the text size, and these are some other properties that help set the position of the text view on the screen. So let's let's close activity main and let's go to main activity and and set some text to our text view. So we'll go into our onCreate method here. The onCreate method is what gets called as soon as the app starts. So when I start the app, this is actually an act, what's called an activity running, and the activity is what holds all the code and runs all the code. So we can go in here and we're gonna we have to declare our text to you first of all. So we just write text to you and then we give it a name. We'll just call it the text view. And then we say equals text view. And then we need to reference our text view in the layout file. So we need to find where it's stored in memory. So we go find view by ID, r.id, and then we put the ID of the text view in here. So what did we call it? We call it text view one. So if you recall from our layout file, if we go back into it, our text view's ID was text view one. So that's what we're referencing right here. Now we have now we have main activity connected to our layout file with this text view. So let's run the app and see what it looks like right now. We expect nothing to be there because the text has been set to nothing. So we can see main activity starts here and there's no text. Now let's set the text to something and run it again. So we'll go back to main activity and write the text view dot set text and we'll just write this is our first text view and then we're going to rerun the app and we can see this is our first text view is displayed on the screen so the two kind of main features of a text view is either displaying information or getting information if you want to ex extract information from the text view you do the opposite so what you do is you would declare a string we'll call it string from text view and that's going to equal the text view and then we use get text to string and what this is going to do is it will take whatever text is inside of this text view and it will store it as a variable in a string. And if we want to see it, we can just type log D and this is what will actually write it to the log. Oh, if we want to use the log, we have to create our tag up top. Just type log T up top and it will create your tag. It's just used for logging purposes so you know what activity you're in when you're looking at the log file. And then to display it, it this is this is similar to like a system out. Like if you do a system dot out dot print line, it's that's that's the same as what you're putting inside here basically, except you get some more information about where it was actually printed from. So I'll show you that it's uh, pretty much the same. And we're gonna type the string from text view here, and we'll also print it inside here. And then we will run the app again, and we're gonna go down to the Android monitor down here to watch the log, and we can see. Uh, here's our system out. This is our first text view, and then there's our uh, log, our log printout. This is our first text view. So I just want to show you one more thing. If I was to not put any text in here, or if we were to actually comment this line out, I want to show you that it grabs, it will, it won't grab any information from the text view. So if we rerun the app, we go down here, and we can see the log prints out no information because we, the text view is blank because I've commented this out, and this likewise the system out also prints nothing. If we go back, we uncomment it, run it again. That's it for this video. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like below. If you like this beginner tutorial series, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be covering a whole bunch of beginner topics so I can show you guys all the basic concepts of Android Studio. So if you get an app idea, chances are you'll be able to create it yourself after you're done watching this series. If you want notifications for when new tutorials are posted, the best place to get them is on Twitter. I post everything to Twitter. I post my Twitter down in the description below, so make sure to follow me on that. Check out my other social media platforms like LinkedIn and Instagram if you're interested, and thanks for watching.